Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about dread. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, from your experience in the industry, what have you found to be the source of tasks that programmers dread the most? Well, uh, it depends on the sort of profile you're dealing with. So the juniors are usually the most, like they dread most of all to be put on the spot in any format. And that basically means anything where they are forced to do a story where it's like, they're, the, if you shine a spotlight on a junior, they shit their pants usually. They don't like that at all. And so anything where they are forced to work in a fashion where they feel watched or they feel like they have to present something that almost everything scares them basically but anything that where there is almost like a sensation of that oh I have something to lose on not getting this right is going to be horrible for them they dread most things anything that isn't like super safe or something that where nobody really cares so much about it is something that they're gonna dread because they have performance anxiety uh, imposter syndrome all of these sorts of things right the mid-levels usually dread to do anything that is not fun. And what do I mean by that? Well, uh, mid-level software developers have grown to the point where they're kind of lazy now, for the most part. They just want to do the fun stuff. So if you ask them to write documentation, you ask them to... Uh, well, some do actually enjoy going to meetings and supporting stakeholders and stuff like that. They hate that. Uh, they hate to work with anything that is outside of the code. So if you ask them to set up Google Analytics or something like that, they don't really like that because now they have to learn this weird specific non-dev tool because, you know, your PO can't figure that out of for some reason I don't know what the education requirements are on a PO but you know everybody's talking about being data driven yet I've never met a PO who actually knew anything about Google Analytics or similar platforms which is kind of interesting right but uh, that's usually the, what I find the mid-levels just want to have fun mid-level programmers just wants to have fun seniors uh, the tasks that they usually dread is uh, it's, well, it depends on the senior. Some seniors are like, they don't want to touch stuff that they don't like. Like, uh, they usually don't, if there's a specific area, like they have, they have like their domain knowledge and they're sort of lazy in some cases and they kind of like their area. And the bad seniors are usually going, you know, these are the guys who usually say that you should hire a front-end developer because I'm too lazy to learn React or Angular or something like that. Or I don't want to do that. Uh, some people are like that. But, uh, the good seniors are usually usually dread uh, scaling themselves, uh, and that is a big problem. Uh, I would say it's probably one of the most the biggest reasons as to why IT looks the way it looks today, because you have domain experts or you have very talented software developers or seniors who just seem to not understand that you are a limited human being. There's a finite amount of time that you have in your day and now things are growing to the point where you don't have time to help everybody. There's a queue of people waiting at your door. Is Are you going to have, a have the time to help all of them? No. Seniors usually don't like spending time on scaling things out and basically trading in some of the necessary co like the coding or like the necessary meetings and that once again it's about be having fun for most of them or for doing things that uh, may not directly benefit them that's usually something they don't really like the thing that they should be doing is usually to s make sure that they have a scaling strategy for themselves and I don't know if it's because they don't want to. I think, honestly, I don't think it's so much that they don't want to. I just think that they are not able to think in that manner. And I suspect that that is why people still think that we need managers in the same, the traditional sense. Because if you could fix that problem, if a senior software developer could be good enough to realize that, shit, we're going to need to hire some people, or I'm going to have to write some of the stuff that I know down and then train mid-levels or other people uh, have them shadow me or things like that so that someone else knows that stuff 
so I can offload some of that work if, the, if that, that is what a manager is supposed to be able to do right but to me it's always been ridiculous that you need an actual person to do that any reasonable person or like a rational individual would be able to think in that manner but you're in some people are I don't know in this mental prison where you have these defined roles of what you should be doing and you should not be doing and I suspect that that is the holistic picture lacking because if you have a holistic picture you should realize that to scale any process you have to create a reproducible result, a step guide. That's what the laws like. That's what a that's you know how we went from being in the trees to becoming a tribe to becoming a country to becoming a planet, like or like a global kilometer of different nations and stuff like that. We found ways to scale the ways that some tribes did things, and then some regions of the world did things in a certain way, and we agreed on that this was a good approach, and that process continued. And that reproducible process, I have never seen, or rather it's almost always the case, where I find that most seniors, even up to the point where it's fucking their job to do this, they don't want to do that, or they don't do it because they're, in, I, I don't know why. I don't know why because it is the thing that is usually needed at that level and for some reason these long strategy things are things that take forever and that's about educating people and aligning people and all that stuff they usually don't want to do that they because it's in my opinion I think it's very similar to the same reason why most people are fat or like out of shape like where they why they don't go to the gym because humans as I like to say they're very good short term when it comes to investment they're really bad at being consistent over time so what I want you to take away from this is that <clears throat> usually I find that it depends on the level of the software developer and the sort of software developer of course but when it comes to tasks they dread the most uh, juniors are usually scared of anything that sp shines a spotlight on them or makes them feel like they're being watched or in any way you know when they feel exposed when because they're very sensitive usually towards criticisms and all of that stuff extremely sensitive uh, mid levels are usually they hate doing anything that isn't fun anything that is like tedious that is like where they have to write bad code or they have to do something that is not their stack or stuff like that they, because they really they've gotten to that point where they kind of just you know they just want to play around with cool tech and like do things that they find interesting and try out new design patterns or whatever like that's what they want to do usually seniors are usually dreading to have to scale themselves up they usually postpone that as much as humanly possible they are extremely bad at large picture type of things usually where like they because they're also very comfortable like they they are comfortable and they don't want to lose their comfort zone so they just kind of go on and like yeah yeah someone is going to take care of that thing at some point right when what's actually needed is that they actually have that bigger picture perspective and realize that okay i'm going to have to start training some people i'm going to have to make sure that we scale out this thing that i helped built over the longest time so that more people can be added without me becoming a bottleneck. That's usually what they are really bad at. Have a great day.